welcome students i am dr smita sharma and i was teaching in the previous lecture about operational amplifier previous uh, lecture the topics covered were basically ic op amp was discussed its schematic symbol equivalent circuit was shown and various types of ic op amps available in the market that are commonly used were discussed among them were ic741 they were briefly described lm324 etc now in this uh, lecture we'll discuss in detail about ic741 because it is generally used uh, it is commonly used in lab and small projects so ic741 what is the what is this basic ic the 741 op amp ic is a monolithic integrated circuit comprising of a general purpose op amp it was first manufactured by fairchild semiconductors in the year 1963 Uh, generally ic741 is written as mu a741 mu a is the symbol of fairchild semiconductors company the number 741 what does that means this indicates that operational amplifier ic has seven functional pins four pins are capable of taking input and one out the and there is one output pin hence the name 741 ic741 op amp can provide high voltage gain and can be operated over a wide range of voltages which makes it the best choice for use in integrators summing amplifiers and general feedback applications as uh, the students know they generally use it in lab it also features short circuit protection and internal frequency compensation circuits built in it so ic op amp comes in following form factors let's see the diagram generally ic op amp is encapsulated in three type in three forms first is 8 pin dip package dual in line package second is to58 metal can package and third is 8 pin soic package uh, third part is the smallest packaging that can be made for uh, ic741 op amp so first of all we'll see the pinout of ic741 op amp so these two are pinouts of 741 ic uh, as we can see from the diagram it has 8 pin uh, dip package or to58 metal can package both are shown in figure we'll discuss these pin configuration in detail so functions of different pins of 741 ic again we have a 741 ic pin out diagram now for pin 4 and pin 7 so where is pin 4 pin 4 and pin 7 as you can see here it is written v plus power and here it is written v minus power so pin 7 and is the positive voltage supply terminal and pin 4 is the negative voltage supply terminal the 741 ic draws in power for its operation from these pins the voltage between the two pins can be anywhere between 5 volts and 18 volts so this is, these two pins are basically supplier uh, uh, are used for uh, in adding power supply to the 
ICU pump. Next is pin 6. Now here again pin 6 uh, here it is written output. So pin 6 this is the output pin of IC741. The voltage at this pin depends on the signals at the input pins and the feedback mechanism use. If the output is set to be high it means that voltage at the output is equal to positive supply voltage. If there is no feedback then output is set to be high if the voltage at the output is equal to positive supply that is plus V. Similarly if the output is set to be low it means that voltage at the output is equal to negative supply voltage. These two conditions are only when there is no feedback mechanism. Now next is pin 2 and pin 3. So pin 2 is here it is written inverting and for pin 3 it is written non-inverting. So pin these two uh, uh, these are the input pins for the IC. Pin 2 is the inverting input and pin 3 is the non-inverting input. If the voltage at pin 2 is greater than pin 3 then the voltage at the inverting input is higher and the output signal stays low. Similarly if the voltage at pin 3 is greater than voltage at pin 2 then the voltage at non-inverting input is high and the output goes high. As you can see from the pin diagram uh, we generally the symbol symbol of IC op amp is a triangle triangle with two inputs and one output. So here it is made a triangle with two inputs in two and three, and output is taken from six. Next is pin one and five. So pin one here it is written offset null. And for pin 5 it is also written offset null. Because of high gain provided by 741 op amp, even slight differences in voltages at the inverting and non-inverting inputs cause due to irregularities uh, because of uh, manufacturing processes or any other external disturbances, it influences the input. To nullify this effect, an offset voltage can be applied at pin 1 and pin 5 and is usually done using a potentiometer. So what does that mean? Because it has this uh, op amp is very high gain amplifier, if slight regularity exists between pin 2 and pin 3, in spite of giving small similar voltages, if there is uh, slight difference due to any reason, the output immediately drives uh, to uh, because of high gain it immediately drives to plus uh, uh, power supply or minus power supply uh, either plus V or minus V to nullify this effect if we know generally there is uh, small difference in manufacturing uh, However, uh, how much we try but there is some irregularities between the manufacturing of the two stages. So, always there is a possibility that uh, the there will be some irregularity between the two inputs. So, in sp without giving any input there will be output and that output will be very much high because of high gain. So in order to nullify this effect we can apply a potentiometer between 1 and 5 to null out this effect uh, created due to uh, manufacturing irregularities in manufacturing or any other external disturbances. Now we are left with the pin 8. So if we see pin 8 it is written not connected. So, pin 8, this pin is not connected to any circuit inside 741 IC. It is just a dummy lead used to fill the void space in standard 8 pin package. So, there is no connection to pin 8. It is only to maintain symmetry it is given here. So, these are the functions of different pins of 741 IC. 
now let us see the internal schematic of ic741 what is inside ic741 so let us see the diagram of this is uh, this is the diagram of 741 ic uh, as uh, seen inside so it basically consists of two transistors and 11 resistors all of them are integrated into a monolithic chip so it is a very complicated circuit so here uh, we can see uh, they are named q1 to q20 these are all transistors and uh, various resistors are there 11 resistors are there of various values uh, clearly 2 and 3 are mentioned 3 is here and 2 here is here if we see that it starts with a differential amplifier it can uh, then it uh, connects into another differential amplifier and so on so this is uh, basically designed on a single chip now we'll see the electrical parameters the parameters which are essential part of 741 it is not only for 741 these parameters are essential for all types of ic op amp we'll dis uh, discuss one by one first is input offset voltage now what is input offset voltage it is the voltage that must be supplied between the two input terminals of an op amp to null the output now we have seen that uh, because ic op amp has a very this 741 has very high gain if there is slight mismatching between the two input terminals the there will be a difference in input voltage and this difference in voltage will be multiplied with their gain and we will get an output so uh, what we will observe we will observe that without giving any two input uh, without giving any mm, input there is output so uh, input offset voltage is basically that that voltage that must be given between two input terminals so that output becomes zero as shown in figure vdc1 and vdc2 are the dc voltages and rs represents the source resistance we denote input offset voltage by vio this voltage could be positive or negative therefore the absolute value is listed on the uh, data sheet so uh, it is uh, what does that mean on data sheet provided by the manufacturer uh, vio is uh, the value is only absolute value is listed not it is not marked positive or negative it's because it can be positive or it can be negative for IC741 its value is 6 millivolts DC the smaller the value of VIO the better the input terminals are matched so by seeing the data sheet we can decide that which type of op amp for 741 it is 6 millivolts for other op amps it can be other value so by watching this we can decide which is uh, which op amp is better to uh, reduce the effects of input offset voltage now we'll discuss this is input offset current now first we'll go the through the definition the algebraic difference between the currents into the inverting and non-inverting terminals is referred as input offset current so the current flowing let us consider the current flowing through the non-inverting input is IB1 and the current flowing through uh, inverting input is IB2. Then what will be input offset current? It will be IB1 minus IB2. So as seen from the diagram, 
uh, we can calculate i in uh, input offset current now for 741 this input offset current is 200 nano amperes as the matching between two input terminals is improved the difference between ib1 and ib2 becomes smaller and this value reduces further so this value is also written on the data sheets provided by the manufacturer and if there is large difference between ib1 and ib2 it means that the two stages input stages two input stages what does that mean the, because the first stage of an op amp is generally a differential amplifier so there are two stages of the differential amplifier and they should be completely identical if there is large difference between ib1 and ib2 it means that the two stages of the differential amplifier are not completely matched so this value should be very small for better operations next is input bias current now how we will define it it is the average of the currents that flow into the inverting and non inverting input terminals of the op amp so uh, that was ib1 minus ib2 input offset current now input bias current is ib1 plus ib2 upon 2 it is the average of the currents that flow between inverting and non inverting input terminals of the op amp for 741 its value is 500 nano amperes now next electrical parameter is differential input resistance first definition it is the equivalent resistance what is it this is the equivalent resistance that which means that if we remove the various parts of the op amp then uh, and replace it by some resistance then what value of resistance should we place it is the equivalent resistance that can be measured at either the inverting or non inverting input terminal with other terminals connected to ground so if we are uh, flowing current through one of the in, uh, we are providing input signal from either inverting end or non inverting end and we are uh, putting other terminals to ground then the resistance measured is known as differential input resistance it is denoted by ri and is often referred as input resistance it is also called Uh, input resistance simple in simple way and for 741 it is relatively very high it is approximately 2 mega ohms so this uh, this will be an extra additional benefit for op amp as we will see further next parameter that we will discuss is the input capacitance again its definition is the it is the equivalent capacitance that can be measured at either the inverting or non inverting input terminal with other terminals connected to ground it is represented by ci and is often referred as input capacitance now 74741 its value is 1.4 picofarad so the next uh, important parameter is offset voltage adjustment range one of the features of 741 family op amp is an offset null capability we have seen in the pin out configuration that what we had seen we had seen that pin 1 and pin 5 are used for offset null purposes so in the diagram you can see one pin and five between pin 5 and pin 1 a potentiometer is uh, connected with and its movable end is connected to with the negative supply 
As shown in figure, a 10 k ohm potentiometer can be connected between offset null pins pin 1 and 5 and the wiper of the potentiometer can be connected to the negative supply minus VEE. By varying the potential, the output offset voltage can be reduced to 0 volt. So, see, when we up, without applying any input, there, the, if there is some output, that out that uh, output is uh, unrequired, not required because that output is only due to irregularities uh, or mismatching between pin two and pin three, or uh, we can say the two stages of a differential amplifier. So for a zero input, there should be zero output. This can be made by using this potentiometer. Uh, we nullify the effect by moving the wiper of that potentiometer till for zero input there is zero output. Thus the offset voltage adjustment range is the range through which the input offset voltage can be adjusted by varying the 10 k ohm potentiometer. For 741 the offset voltage adjustment range is plus minus 15 millivolts so generally it, this can be adjusted now the next is input voltage range when the same voltage is applied to both input terminals the voltage is called common mode voltage vcm that we have discussed in detail before and the op amp is then said to be operating in common mode configuration. For 741 the range of input common mode voltage is plus minus 13 volts maximum. This means that common mode voltage applied to both input terminals can be as high as plus 13 volts and as low as minus 13 volts without disturbing proper functioning of the op amp. If the voltage flickers above plus 13 or minus 13 then the proper functioning of the op amp is disturbed. Now this we have common mode rejection ratio. This we have discussed in detail in the previous lectures. For 741 here we will not discuss common mode rejection ratio. For 741, we will simply remember that CMRR is 90 decibels. We have earlier studied that CMRR is generally uh, expressed in terms of decibels. Now, one more important parameter that is associated with an IC op amp is supply voltage rejection ratio CVRR. The change in an op amp's input offset voltage caused by variation in supply voltages is called supply voltage rejection ratio CVRR. For 741, CVRR is 150 microvolts per volt. Another important parameter is slew rate. Now what is slew rate? Slew rate is generally uh, abbreviated as SR. It is defined as the maximum rate of change of output voltage per unit of time and is expressed in volts per microsecond. This slew rate when we will discuss op amp uh, frequency dist uh, frequency response of an op amp then this factor will be very important. It indicates what does that slew rate why this uh, parameter is important. It indicates how rapidly the output of an op amp can change in response to changes in the input frequency with input amplitude constant. So basically it shows the op ability of an op amp how rapidly the output is changing with the changes in input frequency. It changes with change in voltage gain and is normally specified as unity 
gain, uh, unity gain this we will discuss in detail uh, after in uh, other lectures it is one of the important factors in selecting the op-amp for ac applications particularly at high frequencies 741 has a low slew rate uh, it is generally 0.5 volts per microsecond so these are some of the uh, parameters that we have discussed uh, for uh, we have discussed and defined what does the, these parameters mean and what are it, uh, its value for a 741 IC now uh, these parameter will be used in coming discussions in coming lectures now uh, in the next lecture we will discuss how 741 IC op-amp generally we will discuss 741 IC op-amp but we'll drop the name we'll only discuss op-amp uh, and we will discuss open loop configuration of an op-amp so what does that mean before discusses open open, uh, open loop configuration and we we'll, one more thing one more parameter is uh, we will discuss that is gain bandwidth product gain bandwidth product is the bandwidth of the op amp when the voltage gain is 1 this we will discuss when we will uh, study uh, feedback amplifier in detail now here we'll only work out the definition it is uh, basically the bandwidth of the op amp when the voltage gain is 1 for 741 op amp it is not listed under electrical characteristics and it is generally calculated from open loop voltage gain versus frequency graph it can be found approximately to 1 megahertz so now basically we have discussed mostly all the electrical parameters of the uh, 741 op-amp and there uh, we have discussed the general definition of these electrical parameters. Now in the coming lecture we will discuss open loop configuration of the op operational amplifier. How does operational amplifier works? and how it should be used so that it can be used for a useful purposes or for uh, operational amplifier by for which its name is given so in the in by winding this lecture we'll uh, see again ic741 specifications the basic specification of IC741 is power supply it can be minimum um, 5 volts and can withstand up to 18 volts its input impedance is high approximately 2 mega ohms its output impedance is low uh, uh, 75 ohms its voltage gain is uh, 200,000 for low frequencies 2 into 10 raised to power 5 uh, its maximum output current is 20 milliamperes the output load that is recommended is generally uh, 2 kilo ohms input offset ranges between 2 millivolts to 6 millivolts and slew rate as we have discussed before is 0.5 volts per microsecond because uh, from seeing through the specification the high input impedance and very small output impedance makes IC741 a near ideal voltage amplifier that we will see in coming lectures. Thank you.